Hi, Cancer. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, psychic, seer, and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for August 2021. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture in these general readings and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you. Remember, some months your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Ascendant, and Cancer Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck in these readings. So all that being said, Cancer, now on to your August 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. King of Swords is your first card. So this is an air sign person. This is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could also be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is an air sign. I get like you're going round with them. You may also be doing some kind of work with them in August. They, they could be kind of like wanting you to stick to some kind of plan. You may feel like they're a little bossy, a little controlling, possibly. They may be kind of like, okay, Cancer, you got to step it up. Uh, get on with it. Step up your game. They're in a position of power. I get ritualistic things around them. Uh, they may come from a powerful family or that their uh, family lineage, like they may be a boss to you and their father may have been a boss and their per, per, you know, family member before that, before that, before that. So there could be some kind of like, this could be like a family owned business uh, that's happening here and this could be your boss for some of you and they're really like uh, set where they want schedules and things to go in a certain way uh, they could feel like you need to step up your game in some way you may feel like they're too bossy and controlling you may feel like that you want them to like ease up on you or back off of you this could even be somebody you could be in a romantic relationship um, or it could be like the head of some uh, club, group, organization, or foundation you belong to. They may be trying to heal something in themselves. Something may be wrong with them. They may have problems with their liver uh, or some other kind of medical condition. You may be aware of this. You may not be aware of it. They may be working really, really hard to capitalize on something. Uh, so if they're a business owner and you work for them, they may be like really push, push, push because, you know, maybe with things that have gone on out in the world, they feel like this is my chance to really make it big because this isn't available and that's not available. So now I got the I got the golden ticket to really like capitalize on the market in this or that. So that may be why they're pushing you. If it's a significant other, it could, uh, you know, someone you're romantically involved with, it could be the same reason uh, why they're being pushy or controlling of you. They may feel like they got to strike while the iron's hot. They got, th this is their chance to make it big. And so you could be experiencing the fallout from their, feeling that way because this could make them very domineering, pushing and pushy and controlling. So for some of you, I feel this is a boss. For some of you, I feel this is a spouse or a significant other. And for some of you, this could even be, it could be a business partner even. And this could be somebody that wants to take something in a new or different direction. I feel like you're liking their ideas. 
But I also feel like you may feel like they're too controlling, too restrictive, or just being too much. I get the planet of Saturn come, comes up here. Uh, so uh, it, they may have an Aquarius sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign because the traditional ruler of Aquarius was Saturn. Or they're just coming up as Saturn because maybe, they, or maybe they're Capricorn sun, moon, or rising, and this is one of their sun, moon, or rising signs, or they're business oriented and they're very, uh, trying to make something happen here business wise or work wise and strike while the iron's hot. And Saturn could be controlling that because the planet of Saturn came up here. So you have the eight of, uh, rods next, and this is, could be the arrows of love coming at you. This could be communication, uh, like through email, text messages, or phone calls. It could mean swift and sudden change. It could sometimes indicate long distance, some kind of travel, sometimes. I do feel like you gotta, like I get, I hear pack and get going. So you could be packing and get going on a trip. You could be packing and get going because you're moving. You could be packing and get going because maybe you're at a job or something and you're like, I got to pack and get going out of here. You know, it could be that too. Or maybe your company is moving from one business to another, one location to another, and you've got to pack and move stuff. You may feel like things are happening too fast and you may feel like you're rushed in August. And you almost, you also may feel like you can't control what's happening. It's like out of your control. It, it could be coming from this King of Swords could be rushing you because I did get that energy from him uh, or her because, you know, this card could be male or female in a general reading. Uh, so I do feel like your two cards there are, are intertwined or are connected. And some of you may feel like this is the time for you to make a move. So this could be you. If you have a rising sign or a moon sign, that's an air sign. Or if you're born on the Gemini Cancer cusp. I forgot to mention that, I think. Because you may feel like this is the time where you need to strike while the iron's hot and you need to make your move. So even you could be the king of swords here. If somebody in your place of work is stepping down or going on vacation, you may have to be the boss for a little while or you're stepping into their position and going to have more power and more control. Maybe somebody's quitting. Maybe somebody's getting fired. Maybe you're taking on a higher position or maybe you've just been promoted. Uh, but you may feel under pressure like you have more responsibility, more things to do. And if that's the case, you may feel like you're evening the playing field as, uh, if you get promoted or you throw your hat in the ring for a job and they give it to you because some people that maybe stepped all over you before and hurt you or took advantage of you are now, you're now going to be on the same level playing field as them if they were your superior and they were kind of treating you crappily. Now you're going to be on level playing field or maybe you're getting elevated up over them. So that will be interesting for some of you cancers about that story. So here you have five of pentacles next, and this is two people that are depressed. It, it could be one, just you. It could be one person feeling that way. It could be a couple feeling that way. This is also financial bankruptcy, emotionally feeling bankrupt. It could also be maybe the money is there, but you're not really paying attention to it. You're you're depressed or worried or upset or focusing on other things and the you know money actually is available that's possible you may have some feeling sorry about not finishing something the right way maybe you ended a relationship and you feel like i feel bad or i'm sorry i didn't end it the right way or that job i quit i didn't 
end it the right way or some, com some project around your home that you were trying to do or a business you were trying to start and you didn't complete it the right way. You may have that feeling of remorse about something in those lines in August of 2021. You could have a partner that you're watching uh, go through some kind of destitution, like they maybe lost their job and now they can't get another job. Uh, so that could, for some of you, that could be uh, somebody you are in a serious love relationship with. You may be watching them have that experience. You may feel like there's some things unraveling at home or at work or with something to do with your finances. You may feel like something is coming undone, something's unraveling. You may feel like you are need to get your finances, finances in order. You may feel like that in August. Because something has shifted and changed. Either it's to, like maybe your money's invested in certain things and the markets have shifted and changed and that's why you feel that. Perhaps it could be uh, you or your partner, if you're married or seriously coupled and living together, lost your job or lost hours or something, or maybe even due to health reasons, uh, weren't able to work as much. And now you have to uh, focus on reorganizing or uh, doing things differently to help your finances. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. The next card you have in your reading, very well, <clears throat> very well could be you, Cancer. You have the Page of Cups. And this is uh, a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. So it could be you. It could be somebody else you're dealing with. Pages can be children, uh, but they can also be immature or young at heart adults. And pages can also be messengers. And if it's a messenger, it would be about emotions or love. You may be tired of feeling like things haven't worked out the way you wanted them to in love. You may be disappointed and disillusioned about love. And, you know, you're going to reap the most benefits and rewards when it comes to love. When you are true to acting like and behaving like yourself, not trying to act or behave like how you think is going to be pleasing to somebody else or to attract somebody new. You have to just be who you truly are, because if you attract anybody to you, and you're not being true to yourself, then it's not really going to work out. I feel like some of you cancers have attracted the attention of somebody who is listening, listening to you. They see the potential and the good in you, and they may want you to do something, get a, you know, work for them. Or take on like some kind of uh, new role or new position that so or like, you know, like giving you a raise, giving you a new position, hire you for a job, because I feel like you're attracting the attention of somebody that's listening to you could even be love. You may even uh, feel like you're a little bit infatuated with somebody in August. So there could be somebody that you, catches your eye 
and catches your attention and you get kind of like, ooh, like you have a crush on them or you're infatuated with them. And I, I feel like you really do want people to see how special you are. Um, like you want your, the sparkly and shininess of you, of your soul, of what you're all about. You do want it to be noticed and recognized and appreciated. Uh, and I feel for some of you, that is what's happening. So the last card you have in your reading for August is Eight of Cups. So this is turning away from what's not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking, and heading off on a new journey with a stick of power and control in your hand. And this journey may be unknown, but you're still willing to take it. I do feel that there are some of you, you may be leaving a place that could be a job or a position or a division or a unit or a team where you worked, where you feel like I'm leaving this area, this team, this position, whatever, this job, because people didn't really appreciate me. Some of you are going to communicate with somebody at some kind of a distance to you that's going to hire you or give you a, like, it could be a networking person that give, gives you the information about a new job that you can get, or they hire you. Either they hire you or give you the information about who you can talk to. Some of you are leaving a group of people that you feel are like losers or degenerates or that have changed uh, that may be once were really great friends or associates, but now they've become toxic or negative. Some of you, so for some of you, you could be turning away from, <clears throat> I guess I'll call it like a social group to people you socially would normally have hung out with. Some of you are just fed up with some stuff and you're like, I've made my mind up. I'm fed up with this. I can't put up with it anymore. So it could be a love relationship uh, or some other situation. But you are leaving something. You are turning away from something that is emotionally not working for you anymore, whether it's a job, a group of friends or a love relationship. And I, and I hear my guides are saying this is past due, like <clears throat> you waited a long time to do this, Cancer. I, I, don't, I feel like you hung in there uh, probably longer than what would have been wise. And, uh, but now it's, you, you've got to move away from it now. And I feel like you're being guided to do it. And you may, you may be really strongly aware of your spirit guides and the spirits around you and your higher self or not. Um, uh, but planetary configurations in the local cosmos and, or spirit guides or your higher self are like guiding you to do this now. Even if you are very resistant, you're going to be guided to do it. Some of you, it is a job because I pick up that you want, uh, more money, better hours, maybe better conditions. So for some of you, this is leaving a job. And you may have felt like the people that you worked with or for or friends that you hung out with were depressing you. So I go back to this card. Your place of work or your social friends, the social groups you hung, hung out with, may have really been dragging you down and depressing you. And keep in mind, this could be really speaking. I could be talking to the uh, cancer rising people really strongly here or the cancer moon people really strongly here. Or it could be the cancer sun or all of you. I don't know. This is why you really need to watch your rising sign and your moon sign. And remember, like I say at the beginning of the videos, timing is different for everyone. And people, I've said this in some of them. I'm going to say it again. I know you're probably sick of hearing it, but I do get people that write me. On my Vimeo videos, I've had people write me in my private emails. I've had, I've seen it in the comments section 
on some of the videos over time. I've been doing this for six years now. In that six year period, I have gotten emails where people say, what you said to me a year ago, what you said for my sign a year ago is happening now. Or, you know, usually they say a year. So if what I'm saying to you now isn't resonating you or making sense, maybe a year from now, it really will. Or, you know, so if you got time, you're cooking, cleaning, driving in the car and you put, uh, you connect to YouTube on the phone, on your phone, on your, you know, device, whatever you've got. Listen to what I said a year ago for your sign. It might be happening now. So the best gemstone crystal I got for you, Cancer, for the month of August 2021, you got Rose Quartz. So Rose Quartz gives loving vibes. It purifies and opens the heart to promote love, self-love, friendship, deep inner healing, and peace. It's a calming stone. It brings comfort in times of grief. It dispels negativity and protect, protects against environmental pollution. So <clears throat> when I say work with a stone or use it, I mean put it on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, or your heart chakra when you meditate, wear a beaded bracelet, put it on a pendant, whatever works for you, especially if it touches your skin, you get the most benefits of it. It's going to help cast aside any fears or doubts you have about love, your love relationships, the ability to attract new love. It's actually kind of funny. I get this stone is going to almost give you like a magical quality to your aura. So it's going to, uh, if you wear it or keep it on you in your pocket, it's going to change something about your aura and may attract people to you. More positive, loving people and situations. It's going to help you harness your energy to bring in a uh, resolve of conflict. And the conflict could be conflicts going on inside of you or resolve conflicts you have with other people. It's going to be uplifting energy to you. And some of you cancers may feel like you're lighter than air, like you're floating on a cloud if you wear this on a regular basis. I really feel like a beaded bracelet would be really good for you of rose quartz. So think about getting that uh, <clears throat> because I do feel it's, it really seems to be jiving with your uh, what you need right now. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand channel, where I bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for a variety of very specific topics using different divination tools. You can access my most recent videos I've recorded by going to the description box below this video and click on any one of the links you're interested in down there and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo or you can go to my website www theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page on my menu and there you will see all the video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for. You just pick the zodiac sign you want under the heading of the video series you want and click on that and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Some of the most recent video series I've recorded is my mid-year update, I'm sorry, my mid-year love update for 2021 for both singles and couples, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. Those predictions are going out six months, and some of the signs, they even went out till February of 
2022, not on all the signs, but some of them they did. Uh, also, my mid-year psychic tarot update for each sign of the zodiac for this year of 2021. That link is also below this video. And don't forget my psychic crystal readings for the month of August 2021 for each sign of the zodiac. So when I'm done recording this video, I go on to your sign and look into the crystal and bring you additional psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for August. So you might want to check that out. Also, we're in the middle, we're still in the middle of the effects of the eclipses that we had in May and June. And I use the same format for both eclipses, same video format, same card, you know, same way I did them both. So the first video series is the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. May 26th, 2021, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. Those effects last six months, so we're still in the middle of those effects right now. And the solar eclipse in Gemini on June 10th, 2021, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. Those effects, are we're still in the throes of that. Those last for six months. Also, my career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings, those predictions are going to go out all the way until November of 2022. So there's still a lot of time on those career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings. And my what's lucky and new for you in 2021, psychic tarot and oracle card readings, they were recorded in March of 2021, but their predictions go all the way until March of 2022. So there's still a lot of time with those predictions are still in play for each sign of the Zodiac. And my Saturn in Aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings, they go out for three years. They, were, uh, they begin in December of 2020. So last year of 2020, and they go all the way until March of 2023. So you might want to check them out. Also, if you would like to get more psychic uh, predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use tarot cards, oracle cards, um, my crystal. You never know what I'm going to use. And I never know what my guides are going to say. And those predictions are pretty long. They're usually five paragraphs long. Some people ask me, well, who do they apply to? You're not doing them by the sign. Many people write me and say it's spot on for them or certain messages resonate with them. So I'm sure in five paragraphs, if you're if you feel directed to go look at them, there's going to be some message there for you, at least one, maybe more. So I hope to see you on my social media pages. And if you would like to help support the work and psychic readings I do here, you could make a donation to my channel. And I have a donation link that's down below all the different video series links, and it is connected to PayPal. And thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot and it does help a lot. So thank you so much for that. So I hope you have an absolutely fantastic month of August and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.